Alright guys, what's going on? We've got the third war of season 20 here, and today 4 Loki is going to be facing Old Driver. Um, we faced them last season as well. It is a bit of a mismatch. I don't think that they're a Masters Alliance. Um, but their defense is actually, um, is actually pretty good. It, um, it looks a lot in some ways like ours. There are a couple placements that we use that I haven't seen before that they use. Um, so yeah, smart defensive placements. There's quite a few rank threes on defense as well. They do have some dupes, but again, they're uh, tactical dupes. They're good dupes like Korg on path one and section one, and then uh, Korg on node 23. That's smart. Um, both of those are really good spots for him. They also have a thing on path six in section one, and um, I know they have another one as a mini boss. Yeah, the uh, the brute force mini boss, and then they have two mojo mini bosses as well. So looking at it here, um, even though you can see quite a few dupes, their diversity was actually pretty okay. So um, and like Elsa on buffet, that's a good spot since she purifies debuffs. So um, this is going to be a longer war. So I'm going to play a couple of these fights at double speed. Um, just to speed up as much as I can. Originally this video was like 33 minutes long or something ridiculous like that. So I'm going to be on path 6 all the way and I'm going to be starting off here with Thing and he has Strike, Brat, strike Back and Aggression Fury. So um, this is good placement Thing with Aggression Fury since obviously there are times where you just can't hit him if he has 15 rock stacks. And a lot of you guys know that Thing is like my nemesis. He has killed me. Um, almost all of my deaths last season, and then my only death this season has been to a thing. So I'm just trying to manage his aggression furies, and um, not worrying about the stubborn too much. So here he's gaining quite a few, but I have to bait out that special one. So now I'm going to go in, do a full combo, uh, before, I get the, uh, before I get the stubborn off of me, or off of him. So bait out a heavy here, stop my combo short, got a really good intercept there and the fight was over. So that fight actually went, um, I'd say pretty perfectly considering my track record with Thing. Um, so I did change my masteries for this fight and this is going to be a Captain Marvel movie. And this is power alternator, so basically if I have more power than her at any point uh, when a timer expires, she's going to gain all of my power. So with Doom here, um, I'm just going to throw special ones. Um, and that'll nullify like her furies and her indestructibles and stuff. And um, this should just be a really quick fight. You can see each beam of my special one is doing like 1700 because of the extra energy damage that she takes. Um, I also have a couple points in, um, in Mystic Dispersion, so, yeah, this fight is just, uh, anytime you face a Captain Marvel movie with, um, with a Mystic, pretty much, it's gonna go really well. So, just 34 hits, that fight's over. Throw my Suicides back on here. And now I'm going to be moving up. I'm going to be taking this Nick Fury on the heavy hitter node. So this is a rank 3 6 star Nick Fury. Um, and I have seen really, really skilled players die to this node before. Um, I watched Brian Grant's war video um, where he faced the same node with Omega Red and he died. So I was actually pretty worried about it. I was pretty stressed. So I'm just going to try to do short combos. Um, this node also has power alternator, and I'm just trying to get my spores as high as possible when he's in his first life, and never use dexterity if I can help it. So there I was trying to get a parry off, but I missed it twice. I did end up dexing, but now he's in his second life, and this is where people will get tripped up a lot. Um, they'll dex a bunch to try to bait out special attacks from him and then because of the heavy hitter you get stuck in a situation where he's indestructible so i'm not dexing i blocked his special two um i would much rather do that than have to take a bunch of blocked hits from him um trying to bait out heavy attacks 
And here I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for him to dash back and block. I'm gonna rush in, hit his block, and then end with an intercept. So I feel like that's like a super safe way to take that fight. The only damage I took was a uh, recoil and then blocking that special too. And then um, this is going to be Mole Man. This is actually a tricky node. It's got Footloose and Kinetic Transference. So basically, um, Mole Man can, can shrug debuffs pretty easily. Um, so my I just threw on an invulnerability boost and decided that I was just going to push him straight to special 3. I'm doing two hit combos um, to try to manage his power because I know he's going to be getting power from hitting into my block. And so here you can see I just got him to a special 3. He's at 30 spores. And you also don't want to block hit him ever. Um, if he has like his monster mass charges or something, he uh, he will go unstoppable, like Killmonger, but it didn't even come into play. He didn't even throw his special three, so that was kind of a waste. So here, um, I've got Iron Man Infinity War. This is Rage, and this is kind of a long, boring fight. Um, I've taken a fight similar to this before. What you have to do is not boost your attack at all. Um, I also um, only run partial suicides. I have one point in double edge, no points in liquid courage, and that's pretty much it. And that's how you keep him. You can see here he hasn't gotten any furies. Um, so just a health boost. I threw on a combat regen boost as well. And this fight should be super, super straightforward. I did get hit once. He intercepted me with a light attack, but you can see that he didn't get a, um, a single fury during that fight. And I'm using a rank three, six star Omega. So no big deal. And then this is the fight where everything goes south. This is power focus to aggression prowess, and this is a rank three, six star long shot. Um, so I'm gonna fast forward through the first part of this fight, the part that doesn't really matter. And um, basically my strategy going in here is special ones, that's it. Um, never let him get to a special two, throw my special ones um, frequently, and just keep him below um, two bars of power. If he gets to a special two and he has pure of heart, um, it doesn't matter if it hits you or not. Um, you will take incinerate damage and die. So, and he also has a little bit of organic power gain as well. Um, I think he gets it through through dashing. I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but I do know that there's some passive power gain that happens. So, you can see so far we've got it under control. I kept suicides off for this fight. And just trying to keep him below two bars. And it's going pretty well. My special one is also enough hits that it's taking away the aggression prowesses. So here, got him down to one bar of power again. And then I'm gonna un unspeed it up here. So you can see he's just below two bars of power. I'm gonna throw my special one to power drain him, which should work, right? Um, so I'm gonna throw my special one and you will see that he goes right back to a special two. So actually you can see me, every time my hand goes up, that's me mashing the, my special one button. So I did it three times. He immediately threw his special two and just look at the damage, it's pretty crazy. That's um, per tick, it was uh, like 9,500 9, um, incinerate damage. So yeah, I just absolutely melted there. Um, it sucks so much, that fight was so under control the entire time. Um, so I went ahead and healed up. I'm gonna jump back in here with Doom and finish. But yeah, that was just such um, such an unfortunate ending to that fight. I, I feel like if I could have just gotten like maybe one more special one, maybe two more special ones off, the fight would have been over. And yeah, just definitely kind of disappointing. So 
you can see here, um, I paused it. If you look at the top of my screen next to my name, you'll see the number eight. And I was so flustered after that long shot fight that I go into this fight and this is ebb and flow intercept. Um, and I'm gonna go in here with Omega and I'm gonna forget to put my suicides back on. This is like the one time that I did not um, like leave a note to myself in the chat. I was just flustered. And just look how um, between the ebb and flow intercept and me not intercepting him, because normally you can just out damage it pretty easily. Um, but I'm just hitting so weak with class advantage going up against a rank two six star. Um, and I think it was right around here that I realized he wasn't going above 10 uh, death spores. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like I, I'm an idiot. I can't believe I did this. So what should have been like a one minute fight is gonna turn into an absolute slugfest. It's gonna be super annoying. So annoying that I'm gonna play the rest of it on double speed because it's just boring. It's literally me just throwing heavy attacks. Um, I'm just uh, blocking his special twos. I don't want to deal with the evade. So, yeah, pretty pretty frustrating stuff um, all around. The war started out so well, and then after that long shot fight, um, it just went downhill. It was also a super expensive war between like mastery changes and stuff like that. So, even more frustrating to die during that during that war when you invest so much into it. But, okay, we're gonna be moving along now and we're gonna get one mini boss and it's gonna be this thing mini boss. And this thing has brute force and limber and that's basically it. That's the only thing to really worry about here. It has the best defense too, but that doesn't really matter. Um, so this is good placement. Um, I did put suicides back on. I'm going to check his sig level. And I, I actually slowed down um, a little piece of this because this is again like pretty shortly after my uh, my long shot fight. And I'm trying to save my parries here um, for when I really need them. That was probably a little bit of a mistake. I probably should have used this uh, this first minute to gain control of the map. But you're gonna see here, he's gonna throw a special two. And I'm just going to like whiff basic attacks into his special two, which is pretty, like that's that's how flustered I was after the, the long shot fight. So either way, I've got 20 spores on him. I'm in the corner, but I'm also not worried. I'm gonna block that special one throw my special two to get out of the corner. Omega red, or I'm sorry, my special three. Omega red special three. Um, I'm not sure if it's like this for every champion actually, it could be, but his special three only counts as one hit against Thing. And here I came out and I was blocking and he threw his special one uh, directly into my, into my block and it was unblockable. So I'm just gonna go in here. I'm gonna hit into his block a little bit. You can see the brute force. He's just hitting into my block and then backing off, which is pretty, um, pretty annoying. So here I'm gonna go ahead and do a five hit combo. And now he's being really loose with his special ones, which is awesome. That's the way um, I wish Thing was always loose with his special ones. And then here he's just nailing into my block a bunch. I finally just go for the parry. Um, so here, um, sometimes if I still have a few hits to go, I'll hold off on them um, before he gets to his 15 stacks. And I'll do that to basically make sure um, that I can get him above another threshold of power if he decides to just throw a special one. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my special three here while he doesn't have protection up. And then I'm gonna hit him, uh, I'm gonna five times, get him to a special two. 
And yeah, at this point the fight's pretty well under control. It started out pretty crappy, but it ended up being okay. Um, so yeah, that was it. That was my war. Um, we did end up, oh, I didn't even notice I got an MVT, MVP spot. That's pretty cool. Um, as far as PR goes, that death kind of, um, I, I'm pretty sure it was the death because I feel like I took quite a few fights. Um, it did prevent me from uh, placing in the top three for last war, but that's okay, no big deal. Um, we did end up winning this war. These guys cleared the entire map, but um, they just died quite a few times, and their diversity wasn't, uh, they weren't fully diverse. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.